What's up, Tackle Warehouse fans? Jake here with this week's episode of What's New at TW. It's the day before Thanksgiving. Hopefully everyone's traveling safe and make sure to head over onto the website if you haven't already and check out the holiday sale we got going on. We have different deals going on every single week all the way through the end of the year. So the first bait we want to go into is one that we had custom made from Roman made. So exclusive only at Tackle Warehouse, we have a couple colors of the Roman made negotiator. One of the most successful glide baits to ever come out on the market. Every time we've ever gotten a batch of these guys would just, you know, snag these up and they never lasted very long inside uh, in the warehouse. So one that, you know, was always super, super popular was the albino color. So we kind of did a gizzard shad take on the albino color. And it's so hard to tell on the pictures online, but when you get this thing out in the sun, you can really appreciate all of the, the different iridescence and colors that pop when you move this thing around from the purples, greens, blues, yellow, just an awesome, awesome color. And then the one that I'm a sucker for is the young bow color. So, I mean, we argued back and forth what kind of colors we wanted to have made. And then, you know, the trout color is one that, that everyone agreed on. And, and when you talk about trout colors on a swim bait, especially a glide bait, I mean, I've worked here for a long, long time. I've seen tons of trout patterns, and this one is among the best I've ever seen. I don't know how he's doing it and how he's getting that foil in there and, you know, you know, mixing the paint just to get all the detailings across the top here with the transitions. But, I mean, one of the most realistic trout patterns I've ever seen on this on this negotiator. So it's got that foil insert, so it flashes, and it's just it's so realistic. I can't wait to get one. So if you if you're a fan of the Roman Roman negotiator, we have a couple custom colors you can only get right here at TW. Uh, next up from Evergreen, another kind of big bait. So this is their Timber Flash wake bait. Uh, a really cool bait, uh, something similar to maybe the noisy docks we used to carry a few years ago. Kind of a big wake bait, but instead of that wooden tail on the back, it's got that soft plastic tail. This is a bait that maybe maybe some anglers have had for you know quite a while and been keeping it a secret. These were traditionally super, super hard to get. We just happened to get a batch of them here at Tackle Warehouse, so if you want to get one, jump over on the website and get it now while you can. Single joint construction, wooden design, so it clacks when it swims. But with that soft plastic tail on there, it gets a really cool swimming action. The noisy docks, the one I have with that wooden tail, it's a little bit louder, but it doesn't have that, it doesn't have that soft plastic tail that just looks a little bit more natural in the water. These baits are really cool. You can do a bunch of different stuff with them. You can wind them and just crank them and you're gonna get that nice waking action, but you can reel them really fast and pause them and they'll kick out to the side. If you, if you got the skill and the patience, you can twitch them and you can actually get them to kind of walk side to side. So different stuff you can do with them. If you really burn it, it'll actually run a few feet down. So you can crank it down and almost fish it like a really aggressive square bill. Quad hooks on it, just a really cool wake bait. Another bait they got is this Bel Canto crankbait. This is one that actually quite a few of us are pretty pumped about. Kind of a finessey, shallow running square bill crankbait. What we liked about this bait is it does have that elongated shad profile. You know, there's a few cranks that are out there that are like this out there on the market and they just have that tighter swimming action. And it's just gonna be better for those times when you need a more finesse presentation and something maybe not as aggressive as a big wide wobbling crankbait, something with a rattle in it. So this one is silent, so completely silent. And then on the inside, it's got that little uh, foil prism on the inside, so it's gonna get great flash. But the bill on it, it's kind of a hybrid between maybe like your round bill and your square bill, but it's gonna come through cover really, really good. Have that tight wiggling action armed with those treble magic, fluorine coated treble hooks, one of my favorite treble hooks. If you've ever had a, an evergreen bait, it comes with those hooks on it. They are sticky, sticky sharp, and they will get you if you're not paying attention. Uh, last up is their kicker frog. So this, again, you know, from evergreen, a totally unique design. This kicker frog, it's it's got one big hook on the back of it. So on the back, you know, just, it's a little bit more weedless than maybe your, your your frog with two hooks on the back of it. So it's gonna be able to slip through cover really, really well. Got a weight on there that you can actually customize. It's got a little eyelet, so if you wanna add like a blade or something on there for open water, or if you wanna add more weight and fish it over a mat, just something really cool. It's gonna slip through cover really good. Um, something a little bit different profile than some of the other frogs and get you through some heavy cover. From Croco Gator, we got a new jig and a trailer. This is the Kyle Hall Signature Series uh, Full Send Jig. The head on it, you know, different than most of the other jigs you've ever seen out there on the market because it has a kind of a line through system. Your line's gonna feed right through the head and then your line tie is actually buried back here behind the head. So it's gonna protect that knot and give you a more streamlined finish. So it's gonna come through cover really well. So slip through grass, slip, slip through wood and stuff like that. 
super efficiently, almost a hybrid between like a Texas rig and a traditional style jig. This hook keeper on it, got a really cool hook keeper system. So it has this O-ring kind of butted up against the collar here. And then once you get your trailer on, you feed that ring over the hook and it really locks that trailer in place. Uh, something I really want to try out. I mean, especially, you know, with, you know, most keepers out there, you know, it has a barb keeper, your plastic, especially if you're using soft, heavily salted plastics, your trailers just fall off all the time. That locks them into place is gonna save you a ton of plastic. So super curious about trying that, especially flipping into cover, gonna go through a lot less trailers. And then to go along with that, they got their F-Bomb series jig trailer. But I mean, just cause it's called a jig trailer, obviously with the body on that thing, gonna be a phenomenal flipping bait as well. Pretty long, pretty heavy body. So it's gonna hold a you know four or five out flipping hook, no problem. It has those two appendages on there. It's gonna kick back and forth, but it's not an overly wide or bulky style jig trailer. So if you want something that's gonna, you know, remain compact, be able to flip in and out of cover and not hang up as much, that's gonna be one you wanna check out. From Gambler, we got a new vibrating jig trailer. So smaller version of their Komodo, so their Komodo Junior. Three inch body, a little bit smaller, gonna be better for those, uh, those smaller vibrating jigs like the Mini Max. It's also got a few more appendages on the back here. The original Komodo only has two. This one's got four, just, just giving you a little bit bigger profile and giving you more a more full tail profile on the back of your vibrating jigs. So if you need a trailer that's just a little bit smaller, a little bit more downsized for those smaller baits, smaller vibrating jigs, and also your spinner baits and stuff like that, that Komodo is gonna be a great option for you. From Buddha Baits, the new Sonar Boss Jig Head. So everyone's doing forward facing sonar and everyone's making new jig heads and terminal and all that kind of stuff to, to do that style of fishing. Buddha Baits is giving you a new, a, a new jig head. So that weight on the bottom, what they're doing is they're they're pouring some of that lead down back behind the shank of the hook, and that's gonna help keep your bait in that horizontal presentation. So when you're fishing this, it's not all the weight is isolated up here in front of the line tie. So it's gonna keep that bait kind of in that neutral position when you're casting out at suspended fish, or if you're dropping straight down, like everyone was doing a few years ago with the Demiki rig, these style of heads work great for that. Got a triple barb keeper on there, holds plastics on there really, really well. Now, speaking of forward-facing sonar, the guys over at Cast got a new swim bait or a new soft plastic for, uh, for forward-facing sonar fishing. This is the Echo. So this is how it comes in the package, but they sent us one rigged up, kind of how they like to rig it up. In addition to forward-facing sonar, you can throw it on like an underspin, drop shot, bunch of different stuff, but this is how they're finding it most effective. It comes with a glass rattle, actually. So um, in the package, it's got that glass rattle in it. You can pop that right out and they're putting a nail weight right in here to the belly. And they're using, I believe it's a size one or two Ryugi forward facing sonar hook. So you rig that up and that's, that's where the, they're saying is the key to this bait is having that nail weight and the hook shank a little bit separated, acts as a ballast. And they've, they've sent us some pretty amazing underwater footage of this bait. As it's sinking, uh, this bait kind of will spiral a little bit, but it shimmies side to side. It's phenomenal how this thing swims underwater. And then when you're out there targeting those fish, you know, it's going to run. It's going to run perfectly horizontal so you can target those suspended fish. But you're going to get that great action when you want to pause the bait and it's actually going to swim on the way down. So giving you more action when you're actually not doing anything to the bait. So you're, uh, it's working for you all the time. We just got a bunch of, you know, wintertime, cold weather fishing gear from Sims and we want to cover just a few of the pieces. The first one is the new Rogue hoodie. Now, personally, I think I own three or four Rogue hoodies and they're, they're, I had to stop myself from buying them even when they come out with great new colors, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to resist on this one. So the new updated Rogue, you know, it's a great soft shell jacket. It's got a DWR finish, so it bucks a little bit of, you know, boat spray, light rain. But on the inside of this one, you know, that soft fleece material, but now they've added wind stopper material to it. So unlike the, the previous generation of rogues, you know, if you're going down the lake 70 miles an hour, you'll, you'll feel it for sure. But now you're not gonna get cold with that wind stopper layer now added in there. And in addition to that, something else that's super cool is they have their new uh, rogue pant. So a completely windproof material as well. Got a soft fleece interior, it's gonna be super warm, super comfortable, pretty heavy duty pant. And then on the back of it, they got their reinforced cuffs. So you're not gonna tear these up over time, especially wearing boots and, and uh, heavier footwear in the winter time. So if you need something, you know, with but you don't need a, a full on bibs and jacket, that's gonna be great for fishing in the fall, early spring when you just need some warmth, but not the full on rain suit. If you do need something for extremely cold weather, uh, we just got the new Challenger insulated suit. So, I mean, they are packing this thing 
with insulation. This is the Sims' warmest jacket they make. So loaded with pre-mill off insulation and it's a Torre two layer laminate material. So completely waterproof, completely windproof, and it's gonna keep you crazy warm. So if you're doing, you know, if you're fishing in December, January, somewhere where it's really, really cold or you're ice fishing, this is what that suit is made for. They have bibs to match and the bibs actually work out really nice for ice fishing. They have removable knee pads, uh, you know, built right into the bib. So, you know, if you're fishing over ice, you know, help shield you and a little bit more comfortable to fish on ice all day and just keep you super toasty warm. You can probably get some dual use out of it, doing a little skiing or snowboarding in that as well. Uh, in addition to all that stuff, you know, we have all the other pieces for, uh, for, for cold weather, wintertime fishing. We got a couple new beanies, waffle knit beanie, uh, we got a new wool beanie, and then we got a bunch of different gloves. A bunch in their wind stopper series, so help, you know, just shield that wind from making your hands cold. So we have, you know, the fold over mitts like these ones with the little half fingers on the inside. We have just half fingers, we have full fingers, we have the new pro dry gloves, so a bunch of different glove options as well from Sims. For all your cold weather fishing needs, that's going to wrap up today's episode of What's New Tackle Warehouse. For more information to purchase any of these products seen here today, click shop or link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, let us know in the comments which one of these products you're most pumped about.